Orlando, and I'm at the AKC National Championship Dog Show presented by Royal Canin. And I am here with Laura Reeves of Pure Dog, Pure Dog Talk. Talk. How you doing? And do you notice anything about all of us? We <laughs> all are wearing the Scott Tartan. And the Scott Tartan belongs to the only breed in the world with this own official tartan. You're going to tell us more about it. Introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. Yes, I'm Richard Yoho and I'm from Orlando, Florida. And the Dandy Denmont is actually, I refer to it as the designer dog from 300 years ago. <laughs> it really is. It's because it's size, it's shape. It was used for hunting badger and fox. But today, it can also be your couch potato along beside you. Wonderful for apartment living, home, great Very with kids. Very snuggly. Very snuggly. <laughs> they have uh, the don't shed. They are hyperallergenic and uh, the breed you find them at a dog show you don't hear them barking and carrying on like others do they look at them and wonder what their problem is <laughs> but at home they will tell you when someone comes to the door they'll give a bark like a German Shepherd and let you know who's that someone's there so they're they're protective in that way but they're not protective in a mean way there's a very sweet dog. They actually probably wave them in and say, here's the silver. But anyway, this is really a great breed for it. And they love these dogs of mine aren't around kids, but all the kids that come to the show, they absolutely love them. So they're a wonderful family dog. Hey, Lori, have you ever had to handle one in the past? Uh, I have not shown a dandy. I have admired them from a distance. <laughs> Because showing a dandy is um, very specific grooming. Yes, it is. Very specific presentation and very detail oriented. Definitely. About the dandy is everything is rounded. If you notice the top knot around the face, the body, everything is a rounded line. It's not like a Scotty where you have squared right. lines. So and it's, it's hand stripped and scissored. Yes. Right? So there's different presentation techniques that for a handler, that's a challenge. Absolutely. Like that's, that's a, the people who are showing dandies are good. <laughs> well, when you notice that and your people come up and they feel and say, oh, this is really silky, and then they feel the coat, and then all of a sudden this is wiry, and there's an undercoat. And they also realize that, wow, I can actually pick up this dog and walk it up a few steps into my home in an apartment in New York. Right. Absolutely. How much would you say this dog weighs? This dog weighs about 26 pounds. Okay. And we were getting back to grooming. I learned of a practice that I don't think it's probably done anymore, but it really did make a difference. I did feel the top knot of a dog whose head coat had been singed. Yes. It's not for the faint hearted. No. no. And I don't know how you do it, but if you could explain. It's really that. easy. Well, you take the top knot, and with the top knot, you go like this, and you take a, a match and you singe the top, and then what you do is you brush it off. What it does, it makes it almost like a cloud to the top knot. It's it's a, a fast technique. It doesn't don't burn. Don't try you. this at home. <laughs> Please don't, don't use try lighter this fluid. At home. <laughs> you just do it with just simply with a hair that's been washed, so it's clean. And when you bring it up and you singe it, it doesn't give any cut marks. Right. So you get this Very soft, smooth. yes, really neat look about it. So tell me about the breed numbers. Last year, this breed was in trouble. It's been in trouble. There have been more panda bears in the world than there have been of Dandy Dinmont. But this year we got a little encouraging news. Yes, we did. We found out that from uh, England, from our, our friend Paul Keeble, who keeps a real tab on this, that we have this breed that's raising up in numbers that were being registered puppies. Two years ago, there were only 300 puppies registered in the world. Right. So we really, any encouragement that we're having more means so much to us because there's a chance of losing this breed. We don't want to lose it. Right. And, and this is literally an endangered species. Absolutely is. And I think one of the greatest things about purebred dogs is not just that they reliably have a wire coat and a soft coat and this great temperament. They are a conduit to our history. They absolutely are. So give us a little bit of the the very, very cool history of this breed. Well, the... And their place in time, right? Right. Well, Sir Walter Scott yes. was a writer during, you know... Yes. And, and 200 years ago, he wrote about the Dandy Denmark. And when he did that, 
that really cemented it in time. It gave us, we knew that before then, almost 100 years before that, that dog exists, but he really brought it to light. And his bringing it to light then brought it to us and the Duke of Bachlu, who was the head of the Scots clan, then gave to the Dandy Dinmont the personal tartan, which is this tartan, to the they dandy. let me wear. It's so cool. Yes. And and that tartan, that's the only breed to have an official tartan. Very cool. And he also gave us the colors that the breed comes in. Yes, he did. Mustard and pepper. He gave us, it was all, all laying uh, mustard and pepper that were in there. That they were called mustard and pepper. And this one is called Wendy, is her name, but she is a mustard. And the pepper is that is that anywhere from almost a gray to a black in color. Is this a good breed for a first-time owner? This is a great breed for a first-time owner. Except I was first-time many years ago. <laughs> well, the grooming isn't really that difficult. If for a you, companion. Companion. Right. Yes. I mean, because you can, if, this is a stripped coat, hand strip, but I've seen where it's been uh, clippered, and it's soft then, mm -hmm. like the top knot, right. but it can keep some of its color, and okay. it, it, can be, okay. it can be done for a pet that way. Right. It really can. Right. You know, it's a it's a lovely breed that it's easy to live with. So easy because they they want to do nothing but please you, make you happy. Yes, yes. And the dog, it is the dog yes. that when you look at it, it makes you smile. How could you not look at that face? <laughs> yes, it's every those, day you smile. Those big eyes yes. and that top knot uh, just makes you smile every day. Absolutely. And so, if you want to have a wonderful purebred that is unique, if you want to be special in your neighborhood. You should find somebody who has a Dandy Denmark Terrier. Absolutely. And if you want to own one, you would be nothing short of helping save a breed. Yes. You would be a steward of a breed that is very old, has a very shaky future, although I'm encouraged by what I'm hearing. You are conserving a breed. Yes. And preservation is what it's about. Yeah. It is. It really is. You know, when I said this is a designer dog from 300 years ago, it really is. It's what people are saying. Well, I'm putting these two breeds together to get this. We have we it. We have it. Come get it. It's a registered AKC breed. It's wonderful. You'll love and it. And they're healthy. They're really healthy oh, little dogs. Oh, we have no health right. problems. Right. So there you are. That's the, the final capture is that right. we have no health problems. How lucky are we? Pretty darn lucky. Yeah. And awesome. we were very lucky to have your time. Thank you for sitting with us um, and sharing your thank breed you, and Wendy. your time with us. Oh, thank you so much, really. It's been and, a pleasure. And thank you to Lynn, whom you can't see, but she's right. a Lynn Rock. Thank she you. She is a Barbe person <laughs> whom I'm hoping that we will interview later. She is holding the camera and helping us out with this. So And Wendy was really hard to, you know, get her to relax. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, the thing. It's been is, a struggle. This yeah. breed just doesn't know even in the shows isn't doing all the barking. They're looking at the other say what's your problem <laughs> well, this is not a sparred breed no, <laughs> no, and it isn't, isn't no, it? no. It's definitely not no they don't spar that's wrong no. yes well thank you so much for your time thank we're going to close out here goodbye folks we'll see you from the next see you later one. facebook land Bye -bye. ever dandy